okay guys we are talking about antigen antibody interactions and in this video we'll be talking about what is called counter current electrophoresis okay now this is again a technique using immunological complexes that means the antigen antibody complexes and obviously we'll be using uh, electrophoresis for the understanding of the, our purpose the simple uh, approach uh, for this process very very simple process and the application of this counter current electrophoresis is to understand whether one antigen and one antibody are interacting with each other or not whether they are interacting or not now for the process for particulate type of antigens we can uh, get this idea of whether two and uh, one antigen and another antibody is interacting with each other or not by the agglutination assay that we have studied direct and indirect uh, or active and passive agglutination but the process of looking for the type of antigens which are soluble type we will look for the precipitation and we look for those soluble antigens whether they are interacting with antibodies or not using this kind of counter current electrophoresis so for this process what we are having we are having a slide glass slide and again for all these processes of precipitation onto the surface of this glass slide what we need to provide is to provide the solid matrix or solid support now the solid support again is provided by agar agar solution is poured and it is allowed to be cooled down when it is cooled down it provides and give the layer of solid uh, solid layer onto the surface of this slide okay so if we draw this uh, slide view of this slide so this is the slide onto the surface of it we provided agar so we pour agar so we make a solid matrix or line like that after having this kind of even distribution of this solid surface what we do we make pores we punch holes into this agar two holes in the opposite directions so one hole is will be created here at this location at this point another hole is created at this so two holes are created to the opposite ends and each of these holes they are called wells these these regions are called wells so when we create this wells after creating this wells what we add we will add and in one well we will be adding the antigen so here it comes one well will be adding the antigen another well will be adding antibody okay so here create two wells one is well here another well is here so here in this well we will be putting the antigen here we will be putting our antibody both of them suppose this antigen we don't know whether this antigen is unknown whether this antigen will interact with our desired antibody or not in our lab we are having a set of, of antibodies suppose we are having very antibodies now this is a new antigen we want to know what kind of antigen it is so if we understand this antigen is attached to the known antibody then we can probably learn the function of this antigen or, or, or what is the type of the antigen right so we take this antigen unknown antigen and known antibody is provided and what we do we provide the electrodes so here it is a negative charge electrode here it is a positive charge electrode and because we are looking at the electrophoresis we will have a charge distribution so here electrophoresis is going on uh, by this direction and the electrophoresis for this process is simply telling them to diffuse both from both this direction from this direction the electrophoresis is this is a not conventional type of electrophoresis the electrophoresis is kind of counter current remember it is a counter current normal electrophoresis is something like that so say this is a slide for the normal electrophoresis if it is a negative it is a positive charge and the electrophoresis always occurs in one direction either from negative to positive or from positive to negative in general cases when you have seen in case of the immune electrophoresis but in this case of counter current electrophoresis we have the electrophoresis movement from both the opposite directions that means we are having one electrophoresis from this direction another is from this direction from this opposite direction so both the directions they are coming uh, the the they are forced to uh, so here from uh, when this uh, electric or current is putting this or or making this antigen to push and to be diffused through this line to have to come to this this middle region on the other hand the antibody that are present will again have the electric uh, electricity and they will be forced to come to the middle so from both the directions elect electric current supplies in such a way so that they are uh, coming or they are uh, moving towards the center of this slide this is called the counter current counter means from the opposite direction so one direction one electrophoresis is driving it towards the 
and another is driving it to the opposite so that both of these antigen antibody are uh, encountering towards the middle line so here it is this is the middle line in this middle lines what we will be having because antigens are diffusing antibody not only diffusion because we are forcing them to go because we are applying current so after that but when they are encountering the equal amount of antigen and antibody equal amount of antigen and antibody they will precipitate and what we get is a precipitin line so here it is this green color precipitin line that we can form so this kind of precipitin line is going to tell us this is precipitin line so if there is a observation of precipitin line of using this electrophoresis technique we can tell yes this antigen is interacting with the antibody so in those cases we can get some of the of the important feature of this antigen because it was unknown right now if we won't get any kind of precipitin line we can tell this yes antigen and antibody is not interacting at all okay now uh, this process is fairly qualitative because we can tell that yes whether they interacting or not simply yes or no but we cannot tell the exact concentration of antigen but looking at this width or the depth of this of, of this precipitin line now in this picture it is pretty wide pretty broad line it is telling us is that yes this antigen concentration is pretty high because we know the concentration of antibody in this concentration is pretty high otherwise we cannot get this broader field if we give a thinner line that means we are having very le less concentration of antigen there okay so it's getting a comparative study whether there is a higher concentration of antigen or not or lower concentration of antigen or not but it it cannot tell us that uh, what is the exact concentration of this antigen okay so this process is used uh, because this process the advantage of this process is very very quick because for the other processes like immuno uh, electrophoresis and all those processes it will take at least one day to give you the result but this process will give you the result just a blink because uh, this electric movement is very fast it will take only 30 to 40 minutes to give you this kind of precipitin line okay so by looking at this line you can tell this whether they are interacting or not okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you